We're going to move on to our next item on the agenda, which is a 7.3, consideration of action to rescind by resolution and ordinances the county's prior land use approvals for the Gwinnock Valley Mixed Use Plan Development Project. A, a resolution vacating, setting aside, and rescinding land use approvals for the Gwinnock Mixed Use Planning Development Project. B, an ordinance rescinding Lake County Ordinance Number 3093. C, an ordinance rescinding Lake County Ordinance Number 3094, and D, an ordinance rescinding Lake County Ordinance Number 3095. With that, we'll go ahead and, Ms. Grant, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, this item comes before you today as a result of a board, uh, board uh, superior court action, as indicated in the memo to you. Um, in 2020, your board approved a number of actions related to the Gwinnock Valley Mixed Use Plan Development Project. Those actions were subsequently challenged in Superior Court. The court issued a ruling and order on the petitions for writ of mandate, where the court uh, concluded that the county's findings with regard to community evacuation routes was not supported by substantial evidence. The court went on to say, had it not been for that one item, the court would have found in favor of the county. Uh, because of that very limited ruling, the court had issued a writ of mandate and uh, judgments in those consolidated cases that requires that the approvals the county adopted in connection with the certifications for that project uh, be set aside and vacated. So all of those are before you today in the resolution and the ordinances that are listed A through D in the board memo. This is an action that the, the county will take and then within the prescribed period of time will file a return to, to the writ which will inform the court of the actions that have been taken. Uh, also just so that you know the court did order that it would retain jurisdiction over these proceedings. And uh, that's what's happening now until the writ is complied with. Uh, and with that, I think that answers most of your questions. But if you should have any other questions, I am happy to answer them or try them. All right. Are there any questions from the board? Not seeing any. I'll open it up to the public. And uh, I'm looking online because uh, there's uh, nobody in the chamber as of now. Do I see any hands? Don't see any hands raised, and so I'll give it uh, one, two, three, four, five. Bring it back to the board for action. Okay, pretty straightforward, so I'm going to move forward here. Yes, you have before you, as I said, a resolution, which uh, the bottom of the memo explains would um, be offered. And I'm going to go ahead and offer the resolution? Yes, sir. Okay. The resolution has been offered. All right. Supervisor Simon? Yes. Supervisor Sabatier? Aye. Supervisor Scott? Aye. Supervisor Paiska? Yes. And Supervisor Crandall? Yes. Thank you. Now there are two actions I need to take, or is that it? No, uh, sir, there are actually yeah. three. More than two? There are actually three ordinances. Each one will be subject to a motion to waive reading, having it read in title only and then advancing to the next meeting date. Can the one and two motions be done together or one no. at a time? So yeah, you just do one of those, there you go. Right. There'll be six separate actions then. The ordinances are listed. Okay, I, I move to approve a resolution vacating, setting aside and rescinding land use approvals for the Gwinox Mix Use Plan Development Project. That's the resolution that was uh, offered. Motion to waive reading of the ordinance. You have three. You have three ordinances as well. I apologize. I'm trying to get back on Zoom here. I got knocked out. Okay. Here we go. So do one. There we go. I'm sorry. Now I'm back on. Uh, you have a resolution which is which you would offer for passage that will vacate, set aside, and rescind. Uh, the land use approvals for Gwinnock mixed use that were either approved by your board by motion or by resolution. And then you have three separate resolutions uh, which are explained in the attached documents which will, which your board, I'm sorry, three attached ordinances which your board would adopt ordinances to rescind. 
and you have ordinance rescinding Lake County Ordinance 3093 which was uh, 3093 was a sectional district zoning map for Gonac Valley mixed use which your board approved on July 21, 2020. So your board as to that particular ordinance has a resolution rescinding it before you and that would be first a motion to waive reading of the title having it read waive reading of the ordinance and have it read in title only. That would be first, and so then you'll move to advance. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And the title is an ordinance rescinding Lake County Ordinance Number 3093. And then a motion to advance to next week. And I'll make a motion to advance the ordinance to the next regular board meeting, which is the 21st. Do we have a time? Doesn't or have to have a time. time? No. Okay. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. The next ordinance to be rescinded is number 3094. Uh, in, when that ordinance was adopted, it was a sectional zoning map number 3.7B1402. Again, for Gonac Valley Mixed Use Plan Development. The ordinance before you is an ordinance to rescind, ordinance number 3094, accomplished by the same two actions, a motion to waive reading and then a motion to advance. So I make a motion to waive reading of the ordinance and have it read in title only. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And then that one is an ordinance rescinding Lake County Ordinance number 3094. Mr. Chair, I make a motion to advance the ordinance to the, to the next regular board meeting, which is June 21st. Mm -hmm. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And the final ordinance that your board adopted was... Uh, allowed two readings, so its final adoption was actually on August 4, 2020, and that was Ordinance 3095. Your approval of that ordinance established regulations and department standards for, again, the Gwinnock Valley Zoning District for the Gwinnock Valley Mixed-Use Plan Development Project. By the ordinance that is before you, you would rescind Ordinance Number 3095, uh, by the two motions that have previously been made, one to waive reading, the second to advance. Mr. Chair, I make a motion to waive reading of the ordinance and have it read in title only. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, and then that one's an ordinance rescinding Lake County Ordinance number 3095. Mr. Chair, I move to a uh, motion to advance the ordinance to the next regular board meeting of June 21st. Second. So I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And that concludes the item. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Grant.